Platinum Blonde is in studio with us, and we're so psyched about it, uh, with new music as well. So, welcome, gentlemen. Welcome to the show, and Thanks. thank you so much for coming by. I uh, just played the Carp Fair, right? Yeah. Yeah. And how'd that go? Well, I'd not really heard of it before, right. uh, but it was great. It was an arena, and it was uh, packed all the way to the back. It was great. Yeah, I should uh, introduce you, of course, uh, Mark Holmes on uh, vocals. We have uh, Sergio Galli on uh, guitar. Well, you're on guitar as well. Uh, well, yeah. And, uh, I call it that, yeah. and Rob Layla as well. Often on bass, but on guitar as well today. Turns out you guys know how to play some instruments, and that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, <laughs> now, you've been on a, kind of a... What, did I read correctly that you were at uh, Voyager Days in Mattawa as well? Yeah, yeah. Do they still do that at the river location where you look up on those hills? What yeah. a beautiful spot. Gorgeous. Wow. Yeah. yeah, right? That's a Absolutely. fantastic uh, ad adventure that you've been on mm. since the 80s. <laughs> I, I like the title of the new album, Now and Never. Uh, yeah. Is that kind of suggesting that you're looking forward? Well, I think it was... Uh... <laughs> 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 I, th I think it was more the, the, the point that we, would, we were never, you know... It, I, I said, no, I'm not going to do it. And then Sergio was like, we've got to do it. And I said, well, <laughs> now's a better time than never. So. Right. That's true, actually. Yeah. And that's pretty cool. And you guys came together with this idea. Several years ago, you decided to start, it back, start the engine back up. You'd all yeah. been busy anyway. Um, and so it was about 2010. Was yeah. it on Much Music where you guys said, yeah, we're going to put an album together? Yeah, well, we'd, we'd decided a little bit before then because Kenny was uh, very much uh, a a part of the process at the very beginning he, he really wanted to do this and I said that's fine uh, well let's do it because he asked me a hundred times before that and I said no and he said well Serge wants to do it well I'll t if I was doing an impression of Kenny it would be Serge wants to do it <laughs> but um, uh, I, I finally said yeah and then he says why don't you come and play with me uh, on the Friday yeah and, I, and, and, you know, to solidify it. Serge missed that day, unfortunately. Yeah. Very upsetting. Well, I lost Mark's number. That's why it took so long yeah. to get back to it again. But um, and I went to play with him. It was great. Kenny was so happy. Really happy. Yeah. You don't understand how happy you made him. And, uh, and then he was gone just a few hours later. And so it took us a while to get back. It took, it, we needed to have the clouds clear. Right. Yeah. And uh, obviously, the toughest thing for a band to go to, through together is just uh, that is a tough moment. And now you've uh, kind of moving on with uh, the new project, uh, yeah. the new project that I call it a new project because the music is, I feel like influenced a lot by um, just because the, the music is very today, very now, right? Yes. Yeah. And you've been moving forward musically as well with DJing, yeah. work and everything. And producing so. and remixing and stuff. And, and but really, the, the actual sound that we had on the first album and second album is, is, is very much in vogue yeah, today. Yeah, it is, you're right. So it really wasn't much of a stretch for us. Even as kids, our, our sound was fresh. Right. Even back in the day. Yeah. But it's funny because uh, I think that the first album that you released was so fresh that it was released and then you released it as an EP and it, it, it nailed it, right? Because the first time it was released was 30, number 39 on the charts or something like that. And then the second one... Yeah. Like it was released as an EP, and then boom, it was like smash He's hit. He's done his research, this one. Right. He's done his research. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, that's you're very used to that kind of level of success and just, uh, <clears throat> you know, tr triple platinum, double platinum for your albums. Uh -huh. And, you know, we have, I've worked on radio here for years, and I've been playing your hits on the uh, radio for years and years and years. So we're very excited to hear new stuff, and I was previewing it. It sounds super slick. I love it. It's a really great Thank sound. You. The song is beautiful. Is that what it is? Yeah. We're going to hear beautiful, and it's from Now and Never, available, I imagine, on iTunes and spots like that? Uh, iTunes. Uh, the actual hard copy of the record is already sold out right across the country. How cool is that? But um, <clears throat> not, not only that, there's our record label are absolutely <laughs> completely out of them, and they've never seen this before. I mean, they have... You know, radio right. This is what they do. Tiesto and, yeah. and Dead Mouse, and they're actually out of CD, so they actually have to print more now. Okay. And uh, so they haven't experienced that for some some time. So Seriously, hot single you. from <laughs> Platinum Blonde here at CTV Morning Live. Can you believe it? This is beautiful on CTV One, two, Morning Live. Three, four. They say the time changes everything, but time is just space inside of me. You say that love conquers anything, but this 
war still burns inside of me. She was so beautiful, so very beautiful. in me